It was summer once. They all come and go, but this one wasn't like all the others. It never really went away. It sometimes feels like an orchestra that can't let go of their favorite symphony. I haven't left here in a while, and it's gotten cold recently. But it's the only place that Summer still lives. The memory of it, through him, day by day he keeps the last traces of it alive in his paintings. Stern, immovable, never speaks. His words are watercolor, and his accent is a brush. I know that if I step outside, I'll never see him paint again. The only thing worse than losing that summer is losing the recollection of it. Regardless of how many times I've seen him do it, I always find myself just as captivated by his canvas. Perfect, distilled, small essences of time, pure vibrancy emanating in a juxtaposition to the backdrop of muted hues, just like the one summer, surrounded by all other summers. storm of white noise and flashing images, I feel the emptiness crawling through my stomach to my throat. For most people, being far from something is a matter of distance. But distance can be traveled. Time cannot. I used to enjoy them so much. Nature's gift after a tender touch of the sun but their taste always brings me back to summer. I would only be deceiving myself, so I've never eaten them since. Every stroke of his brush scrapes the fiber of my bones. He cuts through my memories like a surgeon with a scalpel, because I can't be there. I can only watch from his window. I wish I could steal a few seconds of summer, go back and just ask it to stay a bit longer, just a bit, from July to forever. I find it ironic that Sand and water always meet each other at world's end. One's frail enough to be blown by the wind, while the other one is shapeless and trickles down. But for a short stretch, there's just enough of both to be in perfect balance. When they can be molded into anything and become strong. If all of it happened for a reason, there must be a different outcome. It can't all be for nothing. Four seasons to us are known, perhaps not equal in their birth, as only two could share the throne, voicing their echoes to the earth. The warm colors of the sweet July and December's eyes of frost. One was cold, but one was dry, and made life when they were crossed. And when embraced, there was no wrong. The calendars would not just shine, but illuminate so strong. Of love, there was no greater sign. Both spring and autumn started plotting and set themselves between the two. Their line of sight now started rotting, and their distance only grew. But then December cursed their names and rattled winds of fury. 
he had no wish to play their games, for he was executioner and jury. And so December and July, the winter and the summer, would meet again and start to fly to feast upon their hunger. Now nor the fates, neither the bold, would cross upon what was divine, the dance of blizzard and of gold, towards infinity's straight line. forces in this universe that are bound to listen to my plea. Bring it back to me. Please. There's no voice reaching out to me, no gods, no men, no summer. Where I once stood, now stood nothing. I guess life is nothing but a train station. A lucky few arrive in time and punch their tickets, hop on a train that will cross fields, oceans, mountains. Mine left long ago, and I just couldn't get on it at the right moment. I just see ghosts. What is this? These are not my memories. They're cold. There's no summer in them. Why am I seeing this? This is... I did all of this. He was never here. This place, that summer, it was all my creation. Cherry-picked fragments that were never the full picture. How long have I been here? Locked away, just like the rest of my memories. How does one navigate an ocean of uncertainty once the illusion of its beauty shatters? There are a million ways to lie to yourself, but only one way to tell yourself the truth. endless days and sleepless nights. It was never about what summer gave me, it was about what I gave to it. Looking at that horizon, all I can say is, hold on to your memories, but don't let them hold on to you. And maybe some things can taste sweet again. Thank you.